Hey there, I'm Distorting Reality, also known as DR. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make a cow deer look extremely flat by applying them to a plane. Like this example here, here I've got Peach, that looks extremely flat, and she's very, very thin, as you can tell. And this is perfect for trying to make someone look, well, extra flat and this basically self-explanatory. So we're going to try and recreate that somewhat with this model here. It all starts with a 3D model. So if I just go into camera view, we see like, you know, if I render that, not much is going on. I've literally just imported this Peach model as an XPS model. So first of all, just to get things out of the way, I'm going to delete some of the just assets I don't need. And some models like this, as I'll do it as I'm talking, have extra eyes that, or eyelids, that kind of get in the way. Now you can just delete these and use the ones you want. Some models don't have this and you can just move the eyelids and it's fine. This one's a bit weird. Um, so, we'll start by selecting the root bone. Oh, first, actually, it's good to explain that. When you grab an object, it's got an orange like outline. When you try to grab it with G and move it around, it all moves at once. Go down to the bottom left where it says object mode and change that to pose mode. Now you should be able to see all the different bones, and if the bones don't look multicolored and stick like this, that's fine. Some bones look different because they're imported from different models. So click the root bone, which is this black bone here. I'm going to hit the rotation key there, bottom left, and then rotate that down 90 degrees, but not the wrong way, so it'll be minus 90 degrees. So the reason why I'm doing this is because it needs to look, she needs to look flat in front of the camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this plane here, just hit the delete key. So it's better to work with. I'm going to rotate that by 180 degrees to turn it around. It's just more convenient that way. The top left is the scale. I can scale how I want. Now the camera is still over here and not much is going on right now. So what I'm going to do is select the camera, hold Alt, press R to reset its rotation, Alt and G to reset its uh, location. Then I'm going to rotate this by 90 and then move it up by, uh, let's say, like five. There we go, now we've gone to the view here. Here we've got, almost, <laughs> we've got half a peach there. So you select the root bone and just put her into place. The reason why I'm so specific with my camera placements is because if I want to do a double-sided plane, then this is the best way to do it. But that I'll cover that in a different tutorial. So here, we've got a desirable location. Now, what you want to do here is just pose your peach. So I'm going to do that right now. Let's say, uh, you know, let's just, she's a little shocked, you know, being flattened after all is a little shocking. We've got that uh, open mouth, we'll say. Important that you don't try and like move things downwards because we'll be scaling her down, her z-axis will be moved down, so it will mess with it later on. So, I mean, you can a little bit, like, you know, these subtle kind of hands, that's fine, but the, the, more, it's, the more it goes down, the more extreme, you'll, it'll be when it's double plane. But if you're not doing a double plane, that's fine, you can, you can, you know, desire all you want. So, I'll just say that's fine, it's pretty, pretty basic, but we've got a peach. Alright. So when I render that, you can see there's a grey background there, that's ugly. So first of all, go to the render tab at the top right, and change, put that to 100%, make sure the resolution is full, so now we get a HD image. And you want to go down to the shading tab, and hit alpha, where's the sky, and change that to transparent. That's because, if I go into the world tab here, this is the colour of the sky right here, and I can change that with, you know, I can make that a green screen, so I just change that back. And that's good, but doesn't produce the best results. If you want the best results, you want to go straight up transparent. So if I change that sky to a transparent and render again, boom, you've got these little squares which imply transparency. But she still looks like she's got a bit of 3D shape to her. So the best thing to do is actually to flatten her down and then re-render it. So if I get her as thin as possible without making it look like this clipping, and she's like, ah, yeah. So I covered this in a different video, but Peach's Odyssey model uh, crinkles a little bit. It's really ugly. So I'm just going to cut to where I fix that. There we go. That should be better. So now if we go into the camera by pressing numpad 0 as you can see on the bottom left and rendering. 
Oh, I just forgot a neck there. Let me just fix that for you. There we go. Now the render. Perfect. Now we can save this. If you press F when you press F12 to render, but F3 to save it where you want it to go. And just render it where you want to. I've saved my place. So press F11 to get out of render mode, to go back to the view part. And now we're going to create something a little like this. You can see there is an orange box bounding her. And that's because it's an invisible plane. So the top left, you can create a plane and it's created at the uh, 3D cursor here. If you want it to go back to the middle, you hit Shift and C. It's going to zoom you out to show the whole scene, but also the 3D cursor resets itself. So hit plane and then just scale it up a bit. Why not? And move it to where you want it. Go to the material tab and hit new. Remove the intensity here. This removes the shine. I'll show you why that's important in a second. Go to this uh, data tab and hit plus on the UV map that allows it to be displaced on the plane. Then go to texture, new, open, and find your texture that you applied. So here I've applied mine and it does look a bit weird. This is just where you need to scale it with the scale button down below and then just make it look just a bit nicer, kind of get a perspective, her uh, proportions right. And when you've got this, well, you've technically got your plane right here, but we want to remove this annoying white border. So you want to go to the material tab, scroll down to where it says transparency, tick that and change the alpha to zero. Now it will disappear, so try not to deselect this time because it will become invisible. Then go to the texture tab, scroll down and then in the influence tab where it has alpha, tick that box and now only the texture will appear and not the material. Now I'll show you why you don't want the intensity to speckle it up. So if I turn that up and add a lamp right here, all right, there you go. Then you can see that it creates a shine, like like she's laminated, and that's not. It might be desirable in some cases, like you can make it so the alpha's not completely invisible, so it almost does look like she's laminated. But that's not what I'm going for right now. So if I turn off the specular, there you go, no shine, which is what I wanted. So now you've got it, and that's basically how you make one. And I will say that, well, first of all, it wasn't perfect with the irises there. But it's only one-sided, so if I turn around, she just copies. So you have to be careful about that. So yeah, that is how you create a plane with a texture on it. And now you've got a very flat-looking character. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. Keep on creating, fellas.